So I wanted to make a 1,000 subscriber special, but before I could make it, I hit 2,000, and then 3,000, and then 4,000, and now 5,000 subscribers. Hitting this milestone really does mean a lot to me, and I'm really motivated to make more videos because of it. I know it doesn't even compare to the support you guys have given me, but as a thank you, I'll be giving away three Optifine capes. Before I get to the details on how to enter the giveaway, I'm going to show you some of the Minecraft accounts that I own and tell you the stories behind them. I'll have it all timestamped, so if you don't want to listen to me talk about my Minecraft accounts, or if you want to skip a certain account, or you only want to hear about one, go check the description, all the timestamps will be there. Enjoy. The first account I'm going to start with is the one you all know and love, Couple. I've told the story of this account already in a previous video, but basically I got into OG names and claimed a few back in February, March, April, and May of 2015. Couple was one of these, and I used it as my main account for most of 2019. Another was Fungi, which is one of my favorite accounts, although I do not play on it much. Annual is a name that I claimed just because I searched it and it wasn't taken, but I never really liked the account at all. In fact, I was going to change the name in 2015 to something else, but for some reason I changed my mind. I'm glad I kept it. Shortcut is a name that I think was really slept on until I recently used it in one of my YouTube thumbnails. Back in 2016, I almost gave it to a friend who was getting into Minecraft, but he ended up buying his own account. And I'm really happy that he did that because I love the account and I don't ever want to give it away. Some other names that I played on during recent history were 450, Thanks, and Haya. Back in late 2018 and early 2019, I played on Thanks and 450 quite frequently and Haya was actually my main account for a few months. Gak is a name that I claimed in 2015, but I don't even think that I've logged onto the account more than five times since then. Nur is an account that I claimed in 2015, and years ago I used to let my friends play on it when we had little private SMP worlds and stuff. The next two accounts that I want to show off are Caver and Caving. I claimed these names 10 minutes apart on February 23rd, 2015, and I think they're a great pair. I haven't used them very much, but I want to show off the skin on Caver. Look how nice that is. I just want to put a little disclaimer here that I did not make this skin. It was actually on the account Bongo, and I stole it because of how amazing it is. Another account that I own that I really like is Plots. Back in 2014 and 2015, I ran a network server that had a creative Plots server within it. One evening, I was searching through available names and tried Plots, and it was available, so I took it. Pretty nice name if you ask me. One of my favorite accounts that I own, although I do not play on it much, is Nap. I claimed it in April of 2015 and originally used it as an alt on my own faction server to avoid being spammed. The reason I claimed it is because at the time I was interested in napping, the art of making stone tools. Next up is IC4. I know it probably looks just like a stupid three character name with no meaning to you, but the reason I claimed the name is because I was a huge fan of the old MCPVP YouTuber named IC4 Aimbots. Bonus points if you know who he is by the way. He quit YouTube and deleted his channel, but his legacy still lives on as the man who gave such good reactions that his friends would pretend to team with him and then kill him just so they could hear him scream. Here's a clip of that. Guys, how you doing? It's icy 4 Aimbots here. I'm doing a gameplay with Schmocky and uh, Rizzo today. Uh, we're going to be playing uh, Triple Hermit Team. Hello. Uh, oh, <laughs> let me get my bowls and shit. I kind of started um, this Scott? recording late because, uh, what? Do not team! What? Teaming no, is no, not good. No, no, no. <laughs> I told you I only had fucking 20 minutes. Why the fuck would you kill me, you piece of shit? <clears throat> the next accounts I have here are NCAA and March Madness. I got these within a few weeks of each other because it was during the NCAA March Madness college basketball tournament. I don't use them for much, but NCAA is the account I have a bunch of my other accounts friended on with NameMC, so I can easily look at a list of them. Next up are a few names that don't really have stories behind them, but I just still think they're cool names and I've had them for a while. So we have Whirr, Terraform, Taper, and Syndicate Project. I claimed all these accounts in 2015. Forgo is a name I took in 2017 because I thought it looked cool, and I still think it looks cool now. Next up we have Rototiller, one of my favorite accounts. The reason I claimed it is because back when I played a lot of Mindplex survival games, if you completed all the achievements, you get a kit called the Horse Kit, and instead of calling it the Horse Kit, my friends and I called it the Rototiller Kit, because you could just rototill people with it. Here's a clip of one of my old videos where I'm doing that. <laughs> Here comes the Rototiller. Here comes the Rototiller. 
The way I got this next account is something that I don't think I could ever replicate today, but I went on NameMC's upcoming names and filtered to only English words and then went backwards so I could see names that had recently become available. I went back a few days until I found Begonia and then I claimed it. If you don't know what a Begonia is, it's a type of flower. Not by any means a high tier name, but I like it a lot. Our next account is Pronghorn. The reason I have this one is pretty simple. I love pronghorns. They're really cool animals. Here's a drawing I did of one, and then here's an actual picture of one. Look how weird their faces are. Fun fact, pronghorns can actually run 60 miles per hour, making them the fastest land animal in North America. B B B B B B B B B B B B yeah, that's 12 Bs, is one of my favorite accounts because it's a repeater account, meaning that it only has one character that repeats over and over. It's also a prename, meaning that it had the name pre-name change day. And fun fact, there are only 518 possible repeater accounts, excluding one and two character names. I think you guys should probably call me Facts in a Box because I actually know so many facts. Semisonic is the next name I wanna cover in this video. It's the name of that one band that wrote that one song. I was just searching random stuff on NameMC one time in 2017 and just happened to find it. I think it's a pretty cool name, even if it's not worth anything at all. A lot of the names not included in this video are names that I claim because they're memes within my friend group. If I had gone over all of them, this video would have been like an hour long, so in the interest of time, I'll only go over two. The first one is Flextown. The story behind Flextown is actually pretty straightforward. There is a store near the community college I used to go to called Restore. They're basically a thrift shop with their main focus being on electronics, tools, furniture, and various household appliances. And for some reason, my friends and I called it Flextown instead of its actual name, Restore. We would go there during our lunch breaks to buy $1 keyboards and then smash them. Second is Scrait. The reason I claim this name is because I have a friend who lives in Virginia. And if you didn't know, I live in Colorado. And in Colorado, for some reason, we don't really catch on to slang terms very fast there. Apparently, Scrait was slang in Northern Virginia, or maybe just in my friend's head. I'm not really sure which. And it meant great or something like that. Either way, it was a funny word, so I claimed it. Actually, after doing some research on Urban Dictionary, it appears that Scrait does indeed mean that's great. So I guess it wasn't just in his head after all. Okay. We've made it. That was all the accounts I wanted to showcase today. If you made it through all that, congratulations. I hope you enjoyed. Now on to the giveaway. I'm going to be giving away three Optifine capes. The first one will be given to a random person who comments on this video. So all you need to do to enter is comment on this video. It'd be nice if you put some way for me to contact you in your comment, but it's not required. It would just make it easier for me. The second one will be given to a random member of my Discord, so all you have to do to qualify for that one is join my Discord. You can even leave after the giveaway ends if you don't like it. If you're already in my Discord, good news, you're already entered. You don't have to do anything. The third Optifine cape will be given away to a random person who follows me on Twitter. So all you have to do is follow my Twitter, and then you have a chance to win. So if you do all three things, you are three times as likely to win a cape. And if you're lucky, you can even win all three of them. I'll choose the winners at night on August 5th, so you have a little bit less than a week from today to enter the giveaway. All right, that's everything. Thanks for watching, and thank you so much for 5,000 subscribers. I really appreciate it. Good luck in the giveaway.